Hello, this is Jim from Don't Call Me a Vegan, and I'm making a very simple mushroom soup today, a vegan mushroom soup. Uh, I uh, don't like to call myself a vegan, hence the name of my book is Don't Call Me a Vegan, but I'm plant-based, and I've had the plant-based uh, life for now over two and a half years, and I can't tell you how good I feel. And so anything has to be sustainable for it to work. That's why diets usually don't work. And I, I, going plant-based isn't a diet for me, it's now a way of life. And one of the things I do is I, I batch cook usually every four or five or six days. And uh, you know, this is one of my favorites. It's just a very simple mushroom soup. And I'm using simple ingredients in the pan as a uh, big yellow onion, uh, some chopped up garlic. I put in a teeny, teeny amount of extra virgin olive oil for flavor. Uh, I'm basically softening the, the onions and, and garlic using just some vegetable broth. This is the Kroger brand. I buy it at, at my local fries, very inexpensive. And I'm just going to use simple pieces and stems mushrooms, also from fries from, from Kroger. And then I've got some Trader Joe's organic reduced fat coconut milk. And then I'm just going to use simple Italian seasoning. Uh, you know, really, it's amazing how simple this is and how, but how good it is. I've already put some black pepper in, but you can never have enough black pepper in my humble opinion. And so, like I said, we're just quickly softening up uh, the uh, onions and garlic. Got it on medium high. Actually, I think I'm just going to take it to high and just really, really cook it hard really quick get the flavor coming out of it. I uh, don't want this to be too long of a video because I'm, what I'm really trying to show is how simple this stuff is. And one of my favorite devices, this is a Vidalia Chop Wizard. Uh, I learned this from uh, celebrity chef AJ, who was on a, a cruise that I took a couple years ago, or a year and a half ago. And it really saves me tons of time in, in chopping things up. But you can see this thing's really cranking right now. So these onions and garlic will cook down pretty quick. And you don't want to burn them, of course, because uh, you, you, a little bit of char is okay, but I'm, I'm basically just getting the flavor cooked out of them really fast. And you can always just add a little more vegetable stock in there just to make sure that uh, they don't, uh, don't uh, burn and scorch, whatever. Um, but once again, this is so simple. And so I'm going to basically, and I'm going to, drain away most of the liquid from the mushrooms. I may add it back in if I think it needs a little more mushroomy flavor, but uh, just getting most of that out of there. I'm just continuing to get things ready while I cook down the onions. Opening up the coconut milk and you know, even this reduced fat coconut milk just adds so much creaminess and yummy flavor. And even if you don't like coconut, you won't really taste that very much in this. But you can, I mean, you know, I could use almond milk or I could use soy milk or I could use anything like that. But the coconut milk just really gives it a lot of extra creamy flavor. Alright, it's cooking down pretty hard right now. I'm going to put in some of my uh, Italian seasoning right now. This is just cheap, simple Italian seasoning that I'm just going to flavor this with. And I put that in here now just to, to start to, to bring out the flavor. And I just kind of eyeball everything, you know. Just done this a number of times, but just a pinch here, pinch there. So it's cooking down pretty good, pretty hard. And uh, now I'm just going to go in with the mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. I mean, I think this vegetable broth was 89 cents a can. These these mushrooms were like a dollar 29 a can. This coconut milk is probably two bucks, two and a half bucks a can. That's probably the most expensive thing I'm using. Um, just adding some more veggie broth here. Veggie broth, you know, has more flavor than water. So, but you can use water if you don't have veggie broth. And now I'm just, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I've got it cranking here. Just 
cooking that uh, on high just to get it going as fast as I can to show you how quickly this stuff can come together and you know it, of course the longer you simmer stuff the more flavor comes out of things but you can also do stuff really fast if you need something on the table pretty quick and I've got some some yummy bread that I bought at a, a farmer's market a little while ago that I'm gonna enjoy with this soup so who doesn't like a nice hearty simple soup with with a nice couple pieces of uh, yummy yummy bread so it's smelling really good I mean those Italian seasonings just the the flavor or the smell is coming out and I'm sure the flavor is coming out into the into everything I'm sure the onions and the garlic and everything is just melding together and you know the more time you can like simmer and let this stuff go slow might be a little better but you can also do it quick like I'm doing and everything's just boiling simmering real hard right now the flavor is coming out just give it a couple more seconds and then I'm gonna go in with the coconut milk yeah it really really smells good in here right now I mean it kind of smells like uh, Thanksgiving uh, stuffing right now with the mushrooms and the Italian seasoning and everything and it's really cooking hard right now. I'm going to back that off to medium. Just kind of keep stirring it. And now in with the coconut milk. Yeah, maybe. There we go. That'll slow it down. All right, and there's still some cream in there. So I want to get a spoon and try to get as much of this out as I can. Just because things are really a lot of flavor. And that the chunks of the the cat of the coconut cream will melt. And now everything's just working all together. And now it's just going to simmer for a while and you got a really good soup here so I really encourage people that you know if you're gonna try plant-based and I think everybody should at least for three four weeks and see how you feel like I did and uh, you'll be amazed how much better you feel and this is just one of the, the simple things you can do to enjoy a plant-based meal uh, our ancestors when they lived out in the wild ate a lot of uh, mushrooms and they're they're good for you so once again, I'm, I'm Jim from Don't Call Me a Vegan, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe or hit the thumbs up. Uh, appreciate any support. Take care now. Bye-bye.